can you forgive? I've heard it. I've heard it. In the Facebook group that I manage, I hear this often. I can never forgive him for this. And I get this question, um, really every client I've ever had has asked me point blank, how in the world am I supposed to forgive this? It's hard. <laughs> Forgiveness is not easy. I want to unpack a little bit. I've done a video on how to forgive, um, and I've done a couple of videos actually on forgiveness. So go back and watch those if you'd like. But what I want to try to do here is paint a picture because I've had people ask me, how did you forgive? How did you, what was it like for you? And, and I want to share with you the journey of forgiveness in my case that may help you um, come to terms with your own journey and how you can learn to forgive because I believe with all of my heart that if we intend to have a healthy marriage on the other side of this, forgiveness is a key component to this. It is not easy, no, <laughs> but it's something that we need to, to figure out how to do. So I want to paint that picture for you, so stay tuned. Forgiveness, um, for me, uh, before I forgave, I'm going to kind of paint a picture. You know me, I like I like my, my stories, my analogies. I think having a picture in your mind of, of what's happening is helpful. So this is what it felt like to me. I carried a lot of anger and bitterness and resentment with me for a while. I had a very long story. I've told my story before, but, um, you know, about over a six year period, same affair partner, two separations, two reconciliations was a lot. Um, and I was very angry. Um, I had a hard time seeing my husband in any kind of positive light. Um, I used the affair as ammunition against him whenever possible. I had those times in my recovery time frame. It felt like I was carrying this giant heavy backpack with me everywhere. And part of the anger I felt was because I was carrying this giant heavy backpack <laughs> of which I was choosing to carry. Let's be clear. No one said you need to carry bitterness, resentment and anger and all this stuff with you everywhere you go all day, every day. I chose it. It was almost like I was this martyr. I was a self-righteous person who had been harmed in some way. Justice had not been served to the place where I felt uh, vindicated. Felt like, okay, justice has been served. So I chose to pick up this really heavy backpack and carry it with me. This backpack was so heavy that it made me feel rotten every day. I couldn't have joy in my life because of this backpack. It was burdensome. It made uh, the things that I used to enjoy not be enjoyable anymore because there it was, it was always with me. But every morning when I got up, I chose to put it on. Like I chose to carry it. And I was angry with my husband because of the backpack. <laughs> and so because I was so mad about the backpack, I, I made him, I punished him him for the backpack that I chose to put on, right? It's like, it was this vicious cycle. I had two kids who were younger than they are now at the time. Um, and I started to notice my quality of life was going downhill. And it wasn't because of the affair anymore. It was because of me. It was because of what I was choosing to do with the time I had with my family. I was afraid to be happy. Um, this backpack made it where if I, I felt like if I showed my husband I was happy that suddenly he was gonna stop doing the things that I felt he needed to do to make up for the affair. Um, he would think that it was okay for him to run out and have another affair. I don't know what I thought. 
but if he saw me happy, game's over. So I better carry this heavy backpack and be miserable every single day just to remind him of how unhappy I am. This cycle led me to understand a very important thing is what I was doing was not harming him as much as it was harming me. I was hurting myself every single day <laughs> by choice to carry this backpack. I worked with my counselor on forgiveness a little bit and I started telling him when I was coming to these aha moments, I was starting to share with him, yeah, I just, and he, you know, he, he let me unpack it. He let me come to the place where I was ready to really have a conversation about it. And he simply asked me, are you ready to lay it down? And I said, what, you mean the affair? He goes, no, you'll never forget the affair. The affair will always be part of your story. You can't change that. Are you ready to lay down all the stuff you have put in the backpack? And I thought, hmm, am I? I don't know. So I worked with this. I mean, I gave myself time and I worked on it. And I, um, day by day, would ask, do I need to put the backpack on this morning? Now this took time, okay? This took time. It's not like one day I woke up and said, oh, I'm just not gonna put the backpack on. But in my mind, I envisioned this. When it came time to start laying things down, I didn't lay down the whole backpack at one time. I began making conscious decisions to lay down one thing at a time. So if you can just imagine you're on this journey of life. We've talked about this. I've talked about the car recently. Okay, now you're just, you're on a path. You're on a hiking path and it's been a hard path. You've had to navigate a treacherous hike, a treacherous hiking trail, right? Okay. And you've got this very heavy backpack on and you're trying to navigate it. You don't want to fall down and all this kind of stuff. So just imagine you make a conscious decision and this is, this is where we're getting into forgiveness. You make a conscious decision that for your path, to be easier, for your path to lead to joy and happiness, for your path to not be so burdensome to you, that you're gonna start lightening your load. So what I would do is I would just choose bitterness, let's say. I'm gonna stop being so bitter towards him. I'm gonna stop being so bitter. I'm gonna be very intentional about catching myself before that bitter tone comes out. I'm gonna stop using the affair as ammunition against him. So I, I'm, I'm just gonna take that out of my backpack and I'm just gonna lay it right down here. Then you take, you start walking again. Okay, your, your load's a little bit lighter. Okay, you're still carrying it, but it's a little bit lighter. So a little while down the road, you start to realize, huh, I like this. Okay, I'm actually, I was able to have fun the other night a little bit. Okay, what else can I lay down? I'm going to lay down, um, let's lay down some of this anger. Let's lay down some of this anger. I'm just gonna lay that down. I'm still mad, but I'm gonna lay this down. And then maybe a little bit further down the road, um, some of that envy and resentment of the fact that um, we're the ones suffering for their actions and it's not fair. Or maybe we feel that way towards the affair partner that they're running off having a happy life and we're suffering. So we're gonna start laying that down. So before we know it in this process, this backpack's practically empty. The affair has not gone away. The memory of the affair has not gone away. The, um, uh, the feelings involved, it, okay, forgiveness does not mean you're never angry again either, okay? I think that's a misconception. Your feelings are your feelings, the memories are the memories, but what you're choosing to carry every single day is a choice. So as you empty that backpack, that is forgiveness. That's a choice that says, you know what? Um, it happened and it's not okay that it happened and I'm still sad about it. I'm still grieving and you know what? I'm still upset with you for doing it because I, you know, I've got healing to do, but, 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 but. I am making a choice to not hold on to these things anymore. 
these things are not controlling my life. Because here's what happens when you put on that heavy backpack. It controls you. It controls how fast you walk, how fast you heal. It controls how you behave. It controls how you see your husband. It controls how you engage in your family. That backpack controls you. You don't control it. But once you start emptying that thing out, you take your control back. That's forgiveness. That is laying it down. That is getting to a place where you feel free. You know, again, you're not free from all of the pain associated with the affair. My friends, I am, uh, as I'm recording this, I'm 12 and a half years from my first D-Day. Sometimes, it still hurts a little bit. I, I mean, how can it not? We're never going to escape it 100%, but what we will do is we will find a freedom in ourselves. We will find a happy relationship with our spouse on the other side. Or, you know what, if, even if you end up in divorce, let's just be honest, even if you end up in divorce, you'll be free to have a healthy relationship with someone else if you're not carrying that backpack. <laughs> it hurts us. It hurts us way more than it hurts our spouse. Let's not be our own worst enemy here, right? Let's start emptying that backpack out. I shared this um, with a client recently, which, which is what prompted me to do this video. And she found it so incredibly helpful because she was trying to envision what forgiveness really looks like because I think people in this world think that it's you know when you'll know you've forgiven when you're not mad anymore and I'm like I'm sorry what <laughs> no 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 or when you're not sad anymore or when you don't think about the affair anymore I mean guys this is our this is part of who we are now it is part of our story you see what I do for a living here as a coach right I am literally talking about the affair you can't, you can't function in this place without it being part of who you are. Forgiveness isn't about erasing the past, okay? Forgiveness, hold on, I lost my earbud. Forgiveness is not about erasing the past. Forgiveness is about um, freeing yourself for a healthy present and a healthy future, okay? So lean into that, empty that backpack okay see how you can free yourself for being healthy here and having a healthy relationship with your spouse and look if you're looking for someone to help guide you through this process Okay, I've done this with my clients. I can do it with you too. There's a free consultation link below. Please sign up for it. No obligation whatsoever. And I give you coaching on the call. You can see what you think, okay? And then we'll talk about coaching from there. I've got freebies as well. Make sure you grab them. And please subscribe to this channel. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Um, I would love to be able to tell you, uh, to, for you to get notifications whenever a new video comes out. I want you to have all the help you need, okay? Hope you found this helpful. And uh, remember, it's not about laying the whole thing down at one time. It's one thing at a time you take out of that backpack, friends, okay? Take your time. There is no timetable on forgiveness. There's no timetable. Do it at your speed.